Hello everybody, welcome to the EPROPS YouTube channel. Today I would like to show you the glorious propeller assembly. It's a constant speed propeller suited for the Rotax 912, 912S, 912IS, 914 and 915, so up to 140 HP. Thanks to our hydraulic system, the prop is adapted for the two or three Rotax configuration, hydraulic ready and not ready. The propeller is assembled with the spinner and the bolts. We will proceed to the weighing. Three thousand four hundred and seventy five grams for a variable pitch propeller. The contents of the boxes three blades, the spinner along with the hub, and the spacer. Then a few mechanical parts. The solenoid valve, the cylinder, the cylinder with the oil transfer tube, the oil flow hose, the oil hose linked to the oil tank. Additionally, there are two boxes. With the spare parts, and some tools. Finally, the EPROPS instrument. You will need a drill, a mallet, a torque wrench, a screwdriver, a small clip and a wire cutter. We will now prepare all the parts. Remove the three bolts holding the hubs together. Put aside the red protections du triflex ainsi que les protections des leviers le triflex, le triflex has a, an upside and the downside as you can see here there is a longer side keep that upwards all along the assembly, make sure to match the colour stickers. All the red ones together on the hub and on the spinner. Take the red blade. Check the sticker. Take the bag containing the spindle and collars. Take the securing circlips that are provided and place the securing rings on the blade axis. Make sure they are steady. 
ramène les vis. On recherche de Always nouveau. match the red stickers together. Toujours positionner les couleurs ensemble. For the next part, you will need an assistant. You will have to rotate the blades to put the levers in the hub holes and fit in place. Place the bearings on each side of their spots. Idéalement, on peut mettre l'ouverture des paliers vers l'arrière, comme ça on connaît leur position. On ramène Put the two hubs les deux together. ensemble, on les positionne. Et on peut And now it is time to screw to everything viser. together. Start with the six bolts that hold the hubs. Les six vis qui tiennent les moyeux ensemble. For the bolts underneath the lever, rotate the blade. But making sure not to scratch the lever with the drill. External bolts need a nut, which can be blocked on the back of the hook. If the nut is loose, you can hold it with a 10 mil spanner. Once all the bolts are placed, Tighten them with the torque wrench. Donc les diamométriques, 11 newton mètres. Blades should stay in place and move without too much effort. Remove the protection tape. Place the arms on the side of the levers. Take the bag containing the small spindle. 
les petits axes. Once the spindle is in place, attach the cotter pins. Fold the pins around each side of the spindle. Tour de l'axe. Avec une pince multiple, plus plate. Est-ce que tu peux couper les cotter pins si elles sont trop longues? Last thing to do is to place the rod. The rectangular end goes inside the piece that holds the three levers. Don't mount the spinner yet to be able to set up the small pitch. Thank you.